So I am like super excited. First of all, some of you guys don't even like really know, know me because um, it's all virtual. And so, so I'm Ashley and I have been coaching for three years now, which is so surreal to say. Um, I hit my three year mark this year in January and I have been running uh, challenge groups every single month since I started. And I absolutely love these challenge groups. And I'll tell you the reason why is I was the professional yo-yo dieter. I had started so many things, uh, tried so many things, and I failed. And I failed because I didn't have, for me, the missing key was the accountability and the support and the motivation from other people around me. Because even in your own family, sometimes it's super hard to get that motivation and that accountability. And so it's the coolest thing to be in these challenge groups and to be able to check in and to say, I did it. I, I completed the workout today. And, you know, know that I am not a person who gets up every day pumped to work out. I don't go to bed thinking, I'm going to set my alarm at 5 tomorrow, and I am super excited to pump and to work out tomorrow. That's not who I am. Um, and you don't have to be that person either. And I totally understand that struggle. And for me personally, I have to work out first thing in the morning because if I don't, I sit there and I talk myself out of it. And so I'll sit there and think, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it tonight. And then tonight after work or whatever, I'm too exhausted. And so I, all these negative thoughts keep going to my head of all the reasons why I could justify not working out and justify why it's okay to just have this uh, peanut butter cup, which, you know, it's okay. Last night at bedtime, I ate a piece of peanut butter cups. I had more than one, I will say. I'm not perfect. Um, and realize that's what this is about. I want you to understand that this is a lifestyle. This is not a diet. This is something that is going to go away after the 30-day health fit is over. But this is something that's going to carry you. You're going to learn how to eat properly. You're going to learn how to work out even through those days you don't want to. And you're going to learn so much in this, in this next 30 days and in this next 60 days and 90 days and throughout the year. And I don't want you to live a 30-day healthy life. I want you to live a 12-month two year, three year, and a healthy, healthy lifestyle. And that's really what this is really about. And that was the difference for me and me succeeding at this and me failing at every other program is I didn't have people like you to help cheer me on. I realized very quickly being in the challenge group that I wasn't alone that I wasn't the only emotional eater out there, that I wasn't alone, you know, laying in bed at midnight, sneaking down to my cupboards to go eat food because it made me feel better. And so I realized that that is normal to so many people and that is okay, but we learn in this group how to overcome and different ways to be able to battle those things so that you aren't, you can try and overcome that emotional eating. I learned that I wasn't the only person over 200 pounds when I started this, um, you know, and at that time, that's hard to admit for me, you know, when I started this, I was, I was over 200 pounds and people look at me and say, no way, there's no way. Yeah, I was. And three years later, I've not only kept it off. I've had a baby in between, was able to, I don't want to say bounce back because I don't like that word after pregnancy because you need, your body needs the time to heal and be a woman and everything else. Um, but you know, here I am three years later and still living a healthy lifestyle. And that's what I want for you guys. And so, um, I want to kind of lay this out for you, answer any questions you guys have about this. Um, some of you guys have done my free group, so you kind of are aware how, how it kind of works, but you've never, you might, this might be your first time using the Beach Body Challenge Tracker, which I absolutely love. Um, so I'm just going to go over those things and then you guys can feel free to ask questions and kind of go from there. To start off, um, don't forget that you need to download the My Challenge Tracker um, app. Just download it through the App Store. You should have an invite there. Um, so you can't just invite your friends because they actually have to have, to have an invite from a coach. Um, and so, um, you know, so, so realize that. Um, and each day for the health bet, so the health bet started at $2 million, and we knew it could grow to $3 million. They haven't released, that I know of, the exact amount. Uh, but I will say on a page I was on, one of the corporate members did put 
you know, the qualifications and she put 3 million. I don't know if it hit the 3 million. We should know probably tomorrow. I would imagine um, that they'll let us know the exact total tomorrow, but it could have hit that 3 million mark. Um, realize Beachbody is not keeping a dime of that. They are literally the $3 million. They're not saying, okay, we're keeping the million dollars and you guys get to split the two. All two to 3 million of it is going straight to you. And it's not that you can win this, but you are given this money if you just live a healthy life. So in order to split that pool of money, all you have to do is on the Beachbody Challenge Tracker app, you have to log five Shakeologies with a picture at least five times every week. Okay, so they do have people looking at the pictures and they do have a team designed to make sure that, you know, that it's really Shakeology, you know, all that kind of stuff that you're doing. Um, you know, so make sure you're not taking the exact same picture in the exact same spot every single day, but you can take a picture of you preparing it. You can take a picture of you drinking it. You can take a picture of whatever you want, as long as that Shakeology is in the picture with you. Um, you know, that's all you have to do. Just snap a picture. I know it's the hardest thing to be in front of the camera for some of you guys. Um, but I'll tell you, you've got to, one of the things you have to learn during this process is just to be comfortable in your body. And that doesn't mean you have to be an X amount. It took me a long time to realize that I had to love myself from the inside out. And honestly, those pictures have made me a more confident person in the process of it. So um, all you have to do is log five Shakeologies at least um, during the week and you have to log three workouts so you can do like a post sweaty selfie um, you know you can do a picture of you snapping a picture if your kids right there snap a picture of you working out whatever you want at least three times during the week okay so if you do that okay it starts tomorrow if you do that for the next 30 days you will split the two to three million dollars beach body will say hey make sure you know, your account is up to date, your address is up to date. If you are a customer, they will mail you a check. If you're a coach, they will just deposit it straight into your account if you have auto um, or direct deposit. So it'll just go straight into your account. And um, if not, they'll mail you a check after all the final results, after the team goes through everything. It took about, I would say a month after they did the health bet last time to get like the check and everything. But that's all you have to do. So you're not gonna win. You know, it's not a chance of winning this money. It's literally if you just check in, um, you know, and, and people will ask me, I get this all the time, well, how much is it going to be? There's no way of me knowing because I don't know how many of you guys will continue, will actually log, will actually remember everything. Um, but, you know, and so it's, it's really hard to say. I will say last time, I think we ended each person ended up with, the pot was only a little over a million. This time they started at two million. Last time they started at a million. And I ended up with about 17 bucks. So not too bad for just logging my Shakeology and workout every single day. And like I said, this started at two million and could grow to three million. So um, it's more money this time that they're they're giving away. So realize that. Um, I created a group chat for you guys. Usually my groups aren't this big. The health bet groups are usually a little bit bigger because past clients will come and join in and stuff like that. And so it is a bigger group chat, um, but that is a place if you have questions, let's say you're preparing a meal and you're like, I don't know if I'm allowed to have a spinach tortilla, okay? If you don't know, that's the kind of like questions that, that you can ask in that group chat because I had a ton of questions. Like, especially when it came to nutrition, that's always where I struggled. And so if you have questions, just post in the group chat. If you're saying, I don't wanna work out, Post it and let us motivate you into doing it. That's what that group chat is for. So there's no dumb questions. I promise I ask my coach, I still ask my coach questions all the time, especially when it's nutrition related. Um, if you do have a question too about nutrition, a lot of times you can put in like, can I have popcorn on the 21 day fix? And you'll see direct answers that you'll be able to find as well. Um, but feel free to um, private message me if you have questions too. Um, I'm totally here for you. You're never gonna bug me. So um, I would rather hear from you, especially if you're struggling, than you just kind of, you know, fall off into ne never land, you know, land. And so I wanna hear from you, especially if you're struggling or if you wanna say, hey, I quit soda for two days. Like, I wanna hear those accomplishments. So share them with me so I can celebrate in that success with you. Um, so that is that. Um, 
The other thing I did, and hopefully you guys have seen it, so I changed this up so you guys, as my clients and stuff, always have access. I'm not gonna leave you after the 30 days. I will never leave you alone. Um, so I have, a, I created a homepage um, for you to always have access, and I'll continually upload files and you know different things in this health page, um, so you guys have access to it. Um, I'm pulling it up on my computer right now, and I just kind of wanted to prep you um, before. Um, one sec, I'm pulling it up. Um, kind of, I, well, I just want to tell you kind of what it's all about, what's in there, how to use it. I'm pulling it up on my computer, so it's a little bit different when you pull it up on your phone. But the reason why I created this as well, um, my internet is running super slow. Are you streaming or something? No. Okay. Um, challenge your, sorry guys, I'm pulling it up real fast. Um, but I just wanted to see you guys can see how it works. The reason why I created this too is um, on the phone you can't print, right? Like most people don't have the computer the printer that connects wirelessly some of you guys might but most people don't have a printer that connects their phone so like if you have it if I had it just in the files tab on the challenge tracker you could access it but you wouldn't be able to print the resources that you need and so um, I created this so you guys can go in and print whatever you guys find useful and um, I'm gonna share my screen with you real fast so you guys can see this so it's called Ashley's Tribe Challenge Group Homepage. So if you're looking for it, you can also make it a favorite so it pops up um, on your favorites and stuff like that. Um, but what I did is there's a little pin post explains kind of what the group is. But if you go into the um, file or the photos, okay, you can go into the photos on the computer and then click into the albums. You're going to see different album covers for you to go through. Let me close my messages here. Um, and there's only like nine on a page, so realize there's a second page. So, um, and as I add more, there'll be more, more pages here. But um, like healthy snacks, this is always a question. I'm starving or whatever it might be. I don't know what's a healthy snack. I don't wanna eat pretzels or whatever, you know, because of the sodium and everything. So you can go into the healthy snacks, you can click on it, and then the description right here is going to be links and stuff for you guys. So you can click on this, you can click directly to the link. It should pull up into Google Docs. If you haven't used Google Docs, it's similar to like Word, it just pulls it up online for you. Um, and there's 55 snacks under 150 cal like calories. So there's mini tostadas, frozen grapes, Greek yogurt with honey, cinnamon apple, strawberries and chocolate, um, just different things like that. So there's a ton of resources here available to you um, for you guys to, to use. And um, this is part of paying for a challenge pack and being on Shakeology and everything is you get my, my full access to everything. And um, the one, one I want to show you that I think is very helpful is um, the meal plan and meal prep. I know a ton of you guys ask questions, and, and it's because I struggle. I usually, um, most of my clients struggle with nutrition. A lot of that's because I struggled, and you kind of attract the same people as you. And um, so if I go back in the photo album, there's a bunch of meal prep tips for you, especially if you're using portion control containers. Oops, I hit create album, didn't I? I knew it. Um, we go to the albums. So there's a ton of meal preps, meal prep and planning, healthy snacks. These are my personal meal plans. So as I create meal plans, I will add them to, to this. Um, most popular recipes and meal plans of 2016. These are the most pinned on Pinterest uh, through the Beachbody. So a lot, most of their own of them are portion controlled. So they're the most popular pinned posts on Pinterest um, in 2016. So that, that's a cool one. The Fixate Cooking Show recipes, how-to videos, um, recipes posted in the group, Shakeology recipes is down here. Um, and then understanding the containers, if you're still kind of 
trying to understand the container system. There's a whole album on that. But one thing I would highly suggest, and I don't know if it's under, I'm going to guess this one. Fingers crossed. Um, is, let me make sure it's under this one. I was wrong. Dang it. Um, sorry, guys. I just created this before this group started. So, um, meal prep and planning. I'm pretty sure this is where it's at. Yeah. So, under meal prep and planning, there's going to be a blank doc here that you can print out. I, am, I don't know, this might say quarter force because it's the last one I did. So if it says quarter force, it applies to really anything. Um, some people ask on here, do I have to follow this exact time frame? No, this is mine, so this is the time I eat because it fits for my, my day. But if you're up at 4 a.m., obviously you probably aren't gonna wait till six o'clock to eat breakfast or seven o'clock or eight o'clock to eat breakfast. Um, so realize that. Um, but what you can do is you can plan your workout. I print this out. I like to put it in like a sheet protector. So you can just use a dry erase marker on it and you don't have to print it out every week. And you can put it on the fridge and you know exactly what you're going to be eating and what workout you're going to be doing. But you can literally, you can take your measurements on here. You can put the week you're on. You can put your workouts here and then what you're having at each meal during the day. And so if you scroll down on this, um, there is recipes. So you, you can write down like different recipes that you want to try, maybe the fall, upcoming week, all that kind of stuff. When I fill it out, I, I just copy and paste my recipes into here so I can print it. Um, then I just put it into like a three ring binder and I have like an arsenal of recipes and everything that I can are healthy. And then the grocery list. So if you're using the portion control containers, you know, you can say, okay, well, the veggies, when you go to the store, you can okay, these are the veggies I need, the fruits I need, the carbs I need, the healthy fats, seeds and dressings, the proteins, all that kind of stuff. There's free foods written at the very bottom. So this is a nice little grocery list for you. So when you are grocery shopping, you know exactly what vegetables you need, exactly what fruit you need, all that kind of stuff. So I would highly suggest printing this out and going through the files just so you guys can see what's available to you. Like I said, I will add more. There are filled out meal plans already. Um, I just did quarter of force. Now, if it has the portion controls, they're all almost identical in meal plan. So I'm plan B. So all my meal plans say plan B, so you can adjust. So say you're a plan C, you might need another fruit and vegetable for the day. You know, you can figure out, okay, at lunch I'm going to add some carrots, and then at dinner I might add an apple or something like that. So you can kind of adjust according to, to your needs. But that is under, it says my, my personal um, meal plans. Those are filled out meal plans that I have personally used or um, people on my, my team have used. And so that's under there. This one has tons of filled out ones. And like I said, as I create my own, I will post them there as I, you know, as I do do that. So that is there for you. Also on this page, I will go live. So I will talk about my meal prepping tips, um, how I make like chicken to last, you know, two or three meals. I'll go live in this group a lot. Um, so you know, just have it there and um, check it frequently. If something pops up that, you know, you're interested in, um, realize that. Um, and then one last thing in the files tab. Okay. I am doing weekly prizes. Now, some people are totally motivated by this and some people aren't, but what I'll do is every Sunday we will check in with your points. Um, and I will be doing weekly prizes. I may make the banner up here will be our like rock stars. So I'll put your picture up there. And um, so everyone can see that, you know, Lisa's doing amazing this week or whoever it is, you know, you can see everyone's pictures of, you know, who, who's rocking it, who rocked this week. Um, and so there is a point tracker. We'll start tomorrow with points. So I'm just gonna pull that up so you guys are aware with the point system. If you don't want to do the point system, you don't have to. But I, you know, obviously your picture might not be at the banner or whatever. Um, and this has 60 days because I usually do 60 days, but the health fit is 30 days. So scratch the last 30 days. And if you do another group, you know, you'll start your point system all over again. But this kind of goes over how to do it. Um, 
how everything's going to work. Hopefully, it's probably about the same. If it says 60 day, just realize it's 30 days. Um, but you're just going to keep track of your points during the day. And it's super easy to track. Um, these are your before points that you can earn. Um, if you completed preseason, you earn 10 points already. If you took your before pictures, you'll earn 10 points. Your 30 day pictures, when it's over, you'll earn an additional 10 points. And at the end of the group, when you talk about your biggest success, you'll earn 10 points. Don't worry about the 60-day pictures because it's only a 30-day group. But like I said, you guys can all, you know, advance to my next group next month. Um, but it's super easy to keep track of your points. If you do the morning challenge, there'll be a, tomorrow morning, uh, the pin post will have a little morning challenge. It might be to drink all your water for the day. And if you drink, you know, all your water for the day, you get the point. Or it might say, take a picture of your lunch and tell us what you had so we can all have ideas. Um, so it just will be a little challenge. It might be something non-fitness related, like tell me your favorite 90s band or something like that. It's not always going to be health and fitness. You know, it might just be fun little challenges like that. So if you do that, you get a point. If you do um, the end of the day, I'm actually going to take this off the end of the day check in um, because so many people were having a hard time remembering just to check in. So I will remove this for you guys. Um, but if you, um, down here at the, at the bottom, if you log your workout on Shakeology, you get two points, one for each, logging your workout, logging your Shakeology, and personal development. Now, so you're going to think, what? Um, one of the biggest things about uh, getting healthy is really focusing on the inside out. You know, if you have an amazing transformation, you can lose 100 pounds, but if you don't feel good on the inside, when you look in the mirror and see someone who's lost 100 pounds and still are looking at every single thing that's wrong with you, that's not healthy. And we want you to be healthy from the inside out. And my favorite thing about my personal 60 day transformation was, of course, the inches lost, the 20 inches gone off my body was amazing. But my forced smile when I took my beginning before picture was so forced because I was so unhappy and so miserable to my six days where I am beaming. I am loving who I am from the inside out. And that's my favorite thing. When I look at the transformation, of course, the outside's nice, but seeing that person who transformed from the inside out was the best thing ever. And so I challenge you to read personal development. And that personal development is anything that's going to make you stronger or a better person. So if you struggle with self-esteem, one of my favorite books I'm reading right now is Gifts of Imperfection um, by Brene Brown. She's amazing. She has a bunch of books. I'm someone who's always struggled with the self-esteem and self-image stuff. So she's amazing for me. Um, another book I absolutely would recommend, and it's free, I have it right here at the very top, is The Compound Effect. And I have my new coaches, but I also have my clients read it because it talks about the little things that you do are going to make the big difference. So you eating a donut today and tomorrow isn't going to reflect the scale the next day, right? But if you on your way to work stop and get a donut every single day, the scale is going to show it in a month, in two months, in three months, right? Same thing with finances. If you were to go and get um, a soda every day on your day to work, you know, a buck isn't going to kill you. You add that up over 30 days, you just spent $30 that, that month. And so it's those little things. And I love this because it really talks about, and on the reverse side, you're not going to see the scale change tomorrow because you ate healthy for a day. But you continually eat healthy. You continually work out. That scale is going to reflect that. And that's what the compound effect is really about. So I have a free link that you guys can read it online if you like to read online. But um, there's some other ones. I have um, the Elizabeth Smart Story is obviously amazing. Um, Eat That Frog, if you're someone who struggles with time management, Eat That Frog is a really good book um, to, to be. The book can also be religious. So if you're a religious person and you have a goal to read an X amount of the Bible or whatever it can be, that can fulfill it for you. Um, but it's really just improving who you are. So you can earn that point just by reading 15 minutes a day and really diving into who you are. And so, um, but yes, so that's how that's going to work. Scratch, if you've already printed this off, scratch the end of the day check-in. But if you want to check in and just be held accountable, you're more than likely, or more than likely, you're more than welcome to say, hey, I rocked my water, I rocked my food, I rocked my workout, I struggled with um, 
you know, having the energy. So tomorrow I'm going to focus on getting to bed on time or whatever it might be. So that's kind of how the point systems. Every Sunday I'll make a little post on the homepage and say, hey, report your, um, your points underneath here so that I can create that. The top winner, I have like water bottles. I have 21 day fix bracelets that go on your arms. So as you eat throughout the day, you can take the, the bracelet off, you know, at the end of the day, so you know exactly how many containers you need to finish by the end of the day. I have uh, journals. I have a ton of different things that I'll be mailing at the end of each week. So um, that is there for you. Um, yeah, and that's about it. That's all I have really for you guys. I am super excited, guys, about... I love challenge groups and I love what I do every single day. I get excited to, to get around you. Most of you guys may know or may not know. So I'm trying to figure out how to stop sharing my screen so I can see you guys. But, um, I used to be a teacher, so I didn't get into teaching because it was an amazing amount of money. I got into teaching because I wanted to make a difference. And, um, I switched over to coaching because I still, I had that void in my heart of helping people when I became a stay at home mom. And I love getting up every single day and seeing the messages of Ashley, I haven't had soda in two days or Hey, my pants are loose or it's just the best thing that I've ever done. Um, with, with, with my job, with my life. Like I'm a much better mom, person, coach, friend, sister, because I have worked on my overall health. Um, most of you guys know I suffered through depression for a long time in my life and anxiety. And I've been able to overcome these through um, my diet and through reading personal development and just overcoming those challenges. So I really do. I hope that you guys dive into this and there's going to be days that you fail. And I'll say that like, it's okay. But if you fail and had a Reese's peanut butter cup, you know, in the morning, don't sit there and say, I failed. I'm going to eat everything else. Like it's all thrown out the window. Start with the next meal. You know, you didn't ruin your whole day, you know, enjoy it. I personally plan one cheat meal a week. Okay. My Friday night is usually our cheat meal because it's date night. Allow yourself, but be prepared. Look at a menu before you go. Decide what you and your spouse are going to share together. Because let's be honest, you go to Olive Garden or whatever, you get this huge plate. That is like a four portion meal plate, right? You're going to save money by eating the same meal. Um, but you know, just look at the menu be before you go, but enjoy it. It's okay to allow yourself, you know, if you're on the 21 day fix container portion, they allow you to have those cheats. And so, you know, it's your yellow containers and that you would substitute. And so, you know, it's meant to be enjoyed. This is not a diet where I'm going to say, you know, you got to restrict yourself from carbs, no carbs. Like I did that horrible. Worst thing I've ever done in my life. I like rolls. I like bread. You know, we want you to have carbs. You know, it's just, you have to have everything portioned, everything in moderation. And this will teach you how to, you will be surprised, especially if you're a brand new person, just dive in how much food you get. And how you're like, oh, I can't even eat another container. Like you really are. When you start learning how to eat properly, um, you're going to see that you, you do get way more food than you could have ever imagined. And sometimes you can't eat your whole containers. Um, with that said, if you're having problems eating through all your containers because you are feeling full, make sure you always are getting your fruits and your vegetable containers done before you get like your carbs done. So don't make an excuse not to get your fruits and vegetables in because you're full. Um, but you made sure to get all your carbs and healthy fats and proteins in. So make sure that if you are someone that's struggling to eat in all your containers, you're at least getting your fruits and vegetables in every single day. Um, and, and make sure you're not starving yourself. Don't, don't under eat. Um, I get that all the time. I'm not losing weight. And they go, you go through their meal plan and they're like, they cut out a container every single day and your body will hold on to that. Your body will literally hold on if you're not eating enough food because it doesn't know when it's going to get fed and the nutrients in next. And so, you know, it's designed purposely for your weight and your, your workout level, exactly how much food you should be eating. So anyways, I'm super pumped. Like I really am. I know it's super late for some of you guys right now, but does anyone have any questions? You can unmute yourself at the bottom. There's like a little mute button. Um, just unmute yourself. If you have any questions about how this will work. Or there's a chat box if you're too nervous. That was always me before I started. I was always a chatter. <laughs> no way would I ever speak out loud. 
Okay. If you have anything, just pop off. But like I said, guys, I am 135, 100% here for you. Um, please, if you're struggling, I've been there. I get it. Let me help you. Um, you know, if you have a spouse that isn't cooperating with you right now because they're bringing home the ice cream, message me. Guys, we're here together. We will succeed and we'll fail because you will have failures. We're human. Realize that. But it's coming, overcoming those and becoming just a little bit better tomorrow than you did today. So that's really all, all it is. So um, I always say, yeah, like I do, I love you guys. Like I just, I love my challengers and I get so excited to see you guys um, just be excited and live this healthy lifestyle. So if you have no more questions, not more, you guys didn't even ask questions, but. Let me go through and make sure no one's got hands up or anything crazy. Okay. All right. Tomorrow morning's the day. I will be up working out 5 a.m. So, doesn't mean everyone has to. Some people are nighttime, but I will be up bright and early. Have a wonderful evening. Please reach out to me with whatever you guys need. Have a wonderful night.